Hello everyone, I'm Rosemary. I'm here from Snowflake visiting the Blue Yonder office, here to talk a little bit about the Retail Data Cloud partnership that Snowflake has with Blue Yonder. And here with me is Rachel Hinkus. Rachel, if you could give a quick introduction to yourself and an overview of your role, that would be great. Absolutely, thanks so much. Uh, great to be here with you, Rose. Uh, Rachel Hinkus, I work on the product team at Blue Yonder, and Blue Yonder is a software provider. We have a digital fulfillment platform that offers end-to-end -end supply chain solutions from planning to execution and to commerce. And excited to be here talking about our partnership today and wondered if you could share a little bit more about the data cloud on the Snowflake side. Yeah, absolutely. Um, at Snowflake, we are launching industry clouds. Uh, one of them is the retail data cloud launch. And it's a combination of bringing our customers to the table with all of the partners that service them, in addition to the technologies that they use all on one platform and announcing a couple of those joint solutions. And, and of course, you know that's why we're here today to kind of dig into um, one particular solution around supply chain. And uh, curious to hear from you a little bit around um, you know, the why now and, and the why Blue Yonder and Snowflake partnership, especially um, in this current day and age. Absolutely. So when we think about supply chain decisions, those of assortment planning, allocation, demand forecasting, space planning, category management, all of these decisions are highly sensitive to causal factors. Things like weather events, uh, local events, local activities, and different geographies and zip codes. And what we're seeing is as edge devices grow in popularity, we have shelf label data now, we have handheld devices and micro fulfillment centers, e-commerce orders coming in from every uh, different location that people are ordering from. What we're seeing is the retail data footprint, the supply chain data footprint is growing by like 20 to 30 times the volume it used to be. And so what we're seeing is success in the, today's age is really requiring the ability to manage and understand this massive amount of data. Right, right. That's that's amazing. And and can you share a little bit about, you know, what the those early wins seem to be? Yeah, you know, I think success comes down to two factors. One is uh, the platform, having a platform that can manage the volume and performance at scale that's required, and two, decision engines, being able to make sense of this massive amount of data and turn it into business outcomes. And if we take a step back and look at the market, what we're seeing is companies today are relying on decades old databases and offline algorithms. So with all the disruption that's happening, they're not able to keep up. They, they can't make the fast real-time decisions that are needed. With Snowflake and Blue Yonder, we're able to take the retail data cloud, which shapes the data to the algorithms, and the Blue Yonder intelligent decision engines, which are also industry specific, and shape that to the data to create these new real-time interactive uh, decisions, which allow our customers to really interact and proactively engage with disruptions and events that are occurring in the supply chain. Yeah, that's that's amazing. And I do want to kind of um, dig into specifics around metrics, if, sure. if possible. Yeah. Um, can you share a couple of those uh, metrics from the field and, and what you know, you've know you seen using the, the Snowflake platform thus far? Absolutely. We're, uh, we've had some great wins early on. Our artificial intelligence and machine learning solutions are reaching 10 times the scale. Our data ingestion is reaching 20 times the performance, and all of this at the same or better cost point. So it's wow. really phenomenal overall. And what we're seeing from these advantages is that we're able to um, simplify the data movement by working with Snowflake. And when we simplify the data movement, we're accelerating time to value for our customers, we're reducing the operational overhead, and we're increasing reliability. So it's really a win-win-win for our customers. Absolutely, and, and we're seeing that on our side as well, actually, around the ease of accessibility of data, the data sharing element being kind of the underpinning of everything that we're doing now at Snowflake, um, and really fueling that growth and creation of the data cloud. So totally agree um, and love to see that you guys are taking advantage of kind of the ease of data accessibility, the ease of data sharing um, usage on our platform. Um, and I, I also wanted to talk a little bit about about kind of what's next to give our uh, the viewers a little bit of a, a look into what they can expect. Um, and I know we have a couple of really exciting announcements coming down the pipe. So if you could share a little bit about that, I think that would be great as well. Yes, much, com much to come ahead. We have um, several applications that we're looking to open up as part of the Powered By program on Snowflake. So applications like Luminate Control Tower, applications within our autonomous business planning suite and within our Omni Fulfillment suite, where we're going to have out of the box 
unlocks right. opportunities to open them up on the Snowflake marketplace so that customers have a quick starting point and then can engage with both of us on, on roadmaps further into the future. That's super exciting. Thank you so much, Rachel, for being here with us to kind of talk a little bit more about our partnerships. And for everyone at home, please visit our website to learn a little bit more about our partnership and what you can do to get involved. Thank you and see you next time.